Luke chapter 19 verse 41 and when he was come near he beheld the city and wept over it saying if thou hadst knowest even thou at least in this thy day the things which belong unto thy peace but now they are hid from thine eyes for the day shall come upon thee that thine enemies shall cast a trench around thee and compass thee around and keep thee in on every side and shall lie thee even with the ground and thy children within thee and they shall not leave in thee one stone upon another because thou knewest not the time of thy visitation and he went into the temple and began to cast out them that sold within and them that bought saying unto them it is written my house is the house of prayer but ye have made it a den of thieves. And he taught daily in the temple, but the chief priests and the scribes and the chief of the people sought to destroy him and could not find what they might do. For all the people were very attentive to hear him. Chapter 20. And it came to pass that on one of those days, as he taught the people in the temple and preached the gospel, the chief priests and the scribes came upon him with the elders and spake unto him, saying, Tell us, by what authority dost thou these things? Or who is it, he that gives thee this authority? Answered and said unto them, I will, all, I will also ask you one thing, and answer me. The baptism of John, was it from heaven or of men? And they reasoned with themselves, saying, hmm, If we shall say from heaven, he will say, why then believe him not? But, and if we say of men, all the people will stone us, for they persuaded that John was a prophet. And they answered that they could not tell whence it was. Jesus said unto them, Neither I tell you by what authority I do these things. Then began he to speak to the people this parable. A certain man planted a vineyard and led it forth to the husbandman and went to a far country for a long time. And at the season, he sent a servant to the husbandmen that they should give him the fruit of the vineyard. But the husbandmen beat him and sent him away empty. And again, he sent another servant. And they beat him also and entreated him shamefully and sent him away empty? And again he sent a third. And they wounded him also and cast him out. Then said the Lord of the vineyard, What shall I do? I will send my beloved son. 
it may be they will reverence him when they see him. But when the husbandmen saw him, they reasoned him among themselves, saying, This is the heir. Come, let us kill him, that the inheritance may be ours. So they cast him out of the vineyard and killed him. What therefore shall the Lord of the vineyard do unto them? He shall come and destroy these husbandmen and shall give the vineyard to others. And when they heard it, they said, God forbid. <laughs> and he beheld them and said, what is this when it is written? The stone which the builders rejected, the same, has become the head of the corner. Whosoever shall fall upon that stone shall be broken, but on whomever shall it fall, it will grind him to powder. And the chief priests and the scribes, the same hour, sought to lay hands on him. And they feared the people, for they perceived that he had spoken this parable unto them. And they watched him and sent forth spies, which would feign themselves just men, that they might take hold of his words, that they might deliver him unto the power and authority of the governor. And they asked him, saying, Master, we know that thou sayest and teachest rightly, neither acceptest thou the person of any, but teachest us the way of God truly. Is it lawful for us to give tribute unto Caesar or no? But he perceived their craftiness and said unto them, <laughs> Why tempt me? Show me a penny. Whose image and superscription have it? And they answered and said, Caesar's. He said unto them, Render therefore unto Caesar the things which be Caesar's, and unto God the things which be God's. And they could not take a hold of his words before the people, and they marveled at his answer and held their peace. Then came to him a certain of the Sadducees, which deny that there is any resurrection. And they asked him, saying, Master, Moses wrote unto us, If any man's brother die having a wife, and he die without children, that his brother should take up his wife and raise up seed unto his brother. There were therefore seven brethren and the first took a wife and died without children. And the second took her to wife, and he died childless. And the third took her, and in like manner the seven also. And they left no children and died. Last of all, the woman died also. Therefore, in the resurrection, whose wife of them is she? For seven had her to wife. And Jesus answering and said unto them, The children of this world marry and are given in marriage. But they which shall be accounted worthy to obtain the world and the resurrection from the dead, neither marry nor are 